back with Ashie! We are here today. I'm gonna to show you guys how to create, get a lazy horse to go forward. Now, G, you don't actually realize because when you see me riding him, he goes a lot. He's actually quite a lazy horse. And then when you've got someone that clamps down a little bit like Ashley does sometimes, it encourages him to be even slower. So I'm gonna teach you guys a couple of different ways of how to make a lazy horse more forward. Let's get into it. So this is a really super exciting episode. This episode, we're sort of rolling everything together. So it's a real, real life scenario of someone really learning everything all in one go. So Ash has been working on how not to grip with her knees and how to use her aids a little bit softer, a little bit better. She's been learning how to keep the horse in front of her leg a little bit. She's been learning about the train tracks. And now we want to string all of that together a little bit and try to add some movements. So as you watch it, you'll find see, see times when they're not quite right, you know, when the horse is a bit crooked or where he walks instead or where she does a half pass that might be quarters leading or quarters trailing. But the point is, is that you've got to give it a go so that you get all the bits and pieces together. So in this episode we really talk about and really explain a bit more about the half halt. You'll see a couple of times she puts a little bit too much leg on and she puts too much leg on to a closed hand and she's like whoa I can't go anywhere and the reactions that she gets from that is really quite is quite entertaining actually you'll enjoy that. Um, and you just get you just get to see a real life scenario of someone not just learning it in chunks, but having a real life lesson of trying to really string it all together. And what you see is, is it, you don't get it all straight away. It is a little confusing and you do just have to keep going and trying and trying and trying. So I hope you enjoy this. It's a little bit different to what we normally do, but I think it gives people a real good look at um, what reality is. So once you understand the theory, once you've kind of got it individually, then you've got to try to string it all together as well. And that's what this is all about. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Pop him into trot again, but think to yourself that you don't want to clamp down. So already your spurs are digging in and your legs are back. So think on the ground. Think about, yeah, that's it. Think about your feet on the ground. That's really important. Yeah, hands together. Think that his face is he's facing the right way. So just straight. Yeah, that's good. And then when you're ready, just go to trot in your own way. No, you're pushing again already and straight. Okay, so when you go trot, Ashley, just stop there for a second. So when you went to trot, what you did is you pelvic thrusted with your seat, yeah? And with your leg, you did this, yeah? You put it back and you dug, 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 yeah? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Leg here, okay, leg there. To go to trot, you just, so you stand on the ground with your feet, and to go to trot, you just go trot. Not, mm, not like this, uh, until they trot. It's just trot. If they didn't, you might go trot, trot. Yeah? And your seat doesn't move. If anything, it just goes up, because trot is an up way, okay? And again, the mistake you're allowed to make is that you don't trot. Yeah? All right, so off you go again. So go to walk. It's all right. That's okay, good job. Good job. So when you're ready, just know already your legs are on. Yeah, visualize standing on the ground. And I'm gonna tell you when to trot, okay? And all you're allowed to do, Ashy, is visualize standing on the ground. So just visualize standing on the ground. V don't worry if he stops. Visualize standing on the ground, good. Now, flap like a duck once, good. Do it again, once. Good, do it again, once. Very good. Now trot, flap like a duck, go. Again, yeah, what do you see you have to do? So what's your seat doing now? Yeah, well, it's going a little bit with the walk, yeah? So you, what did you end up getting? You got a bigger walk, didn't you? Yeah, because that's what your seat said. So thrust, uh, sorry, rise, and flap at the same time. Go stand up and flap. Good girl, stand up and flap. Better, do you feel that? Good, go back to walk, try it again. Stand on the ground. It's very, very important. 
Good girl. Now you're not allowed to think about anything other than standing on the ground with your feet. Stand on the ground with your feet. And then stand up and flap now. Again, again, again. Better. Good job. And again, walk. Rise smaller till he walks. Good. Now flap and stand. Go. Flap and stand. Flap and stand. Flap and stand. Flap and stand. Flap it. Yeah. You see how much you want to push? Good job, that's okay. Doesn't matter that it takes a little bit of time because he needs to understand, yeah? It's not very clear, but at least you're not reverting back to the naughty way. Super, how do you feel, lovely? Good, feels like a much better trot, well. Yeah, good job. She just said it feels like a much better trot. You're looking really good, lovely. Much more even in your reins, good job. Now, what I want you to do is just show everyone what happens when you go for a more extended trot. So it's not extended, just more forward. So go for a more forward trot and see what happens. Go. Go. And do you, f and you can see there that he goes more forward, but not really. And she has to keep trying, okay? So what we want to do there, Ashy, is to get him more forward, we use the canter to help us, okay? So keep this trot going. And what you need to get to a point of is that you can feel like that trot is going all the time like that without you asking him, okay? So I want you to be a little brave, pop into two point position and try a canter. Think tall, outside leg back, pop, it's okay, good girl. Now that's a lovely canter, but now I want you to try and go for a gallop for your feeling. Tell me if you're a bit scared. Go, he might throw in a little buck, but you'll be fine. Go, 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 super. Now don't put the handbrake on, Ashy. Just sit up tall and start rising. So poke your little bottom under, stand on the ground with your two legs, and the minute, yes, then go. With a flap, look at the trot there, then canter again, think tall, pop. Outside leg back now. Good job. And go for again for a little bit of a gallop. Then when we go to trot, when I say, I want you to rise and the moment that you feel trot, keep going through the corner. The moment that you feel trot, I want you to take the next step extended. So now trot, not by putting the handbrake on, putting your pelvis under, sitting up tall and just rising against the rhythm. You can make this noise if it helps. Good, and go. Go for a step, yeah. Canter again. That's okay, to relax, let your reins go. That's okay. There's a little bit too much hand there, sweetie, yeah? Do you feel okay? Good girl. And then rising trot. Sit tall, lean back, and rise. Let the front go, make this noise if you can. Good, and go. Good. Now, when you canter this time, just let the, let, make sure you've got an open door at the front. Canter. Outside leg back. Good job, sweetie. You feel that moment was just that you went into a closed hand? Yeah. Bit more of a gallop, go. Lean forward and go. Be brave. Beautiful. Now really sit back, lean, lean back, sit tall, legs down on the ground. And, and the second he trots, you go for one bigger step. Good, go play the fronts, okay? Lean back, try to go against the rhythm with your eyes. Good, and forward. Very good. Now how's that trot? Does that feel like he's towing you along? Yeah. Now every time you lose that now, Ash, you go back to canter, even if you're in the middle of what we're asking him to do, yeah? Good girl. So now we're gonna play a little bit with the leg yield. So ride a circle up there, but when you ride the circle, you have to think to yourself, good, but when you go, go to forward. Don't just canter. That's a good job, super riding. Rise again, lean, tuck your pelvis under, sit on the floor with your right, with your seat, with your, sorry, with your seat, with your feet. Make this noise if you have to. Rounder, good, and one big step. Good girl, super riding. Riding a circle up the top there, sweetie. I want you to feel the train tracks that you don't lose the evenness in the bend. So don't bend in with your inside rein. Just think about where you're going and think of the balance. Good girl. And then you come up the center line to change the rein on leg yield. And let's see how you go. Don't, no expectation here. Good job. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Good girl. That's okay. Good girl. Okay, have a little walk rest. So rise smaller. 
Yeah, good girl. Okay, I'm going to go through the, the leg yield a little bit for you, hey? So when you did the leg yield, okay, the legs were okay, but what happened was his neck, so we'll go this way because that's where you're going, his neck ended up like way over here, okay? So if you imagine you're in the leg yield, your legs are in the right spot, but if your neck is over here, what does it do to my body? It twists it, doesn't it? Can you see that? So what you need to do is when you ride the leg yield, you need to think straight like this and that the body has to stay like this and you go sideways, okay? So for your feeling a little bit, you almost have to sort of prop this shoulder up a little bit, okay? Because that neck comes over here, that's the symptom, because this shoulder falls to the wall. Does that make a bit of sense? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it a bit more step by step, okay? So you're going to come up the centre line and then I want you to ride for a couple of steps that he faces the wall in his nose. That makes it actually a half pass, yeah? Then he faces away from the wall. Then he faces the wall. Then he faces away from the wall, okay? Now the hardest thing you're going to find to do is A, do it because it isn't going to be easy, so don't worry about that. But second of all, when you use your reins, it's very hard to not use them in a really pulling way, okay? So you have to think I need to move his neck without pulling his nose down. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you have any questions? No. You sure? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. You ready? Pop them back into trot. Again, make sure you've got that in front of your leg feeling. If you don't, you can do your canter. Oh, you're already, good job with your flap. I saw that. Rise, that's the part you're missing. So stand up. Good girl, it's okay. Good girl, it's okay. It doesn't matter that you don't get that perfect yet. It will take time, okay, honey? It's completely acceptable to get that, get that a little bit sticky to begin with. Good trot. It's a super trot there. How does that feel? Good girl. All right, so when you're ready, you do the leg yield. So it's basically as soon as you get onto the center line, <clears throat> you have him a little bit in half pass. So his nose faces the wall. Wrong way, put his nose to the wall. Oh, you can't do it, can you? Turn a circle, go again. That's okay. Is that what happened? You couldn't do it? Yeah, that's good. All right. So come around the diagonal again. Think to yourself this time, as you come around the diagonal, his nose goes to the wall and his quarters goes to the wall. Think of that as your feeling, like a little travers. All right, you still can't get it, can you? Okay, turn again. Yeah, yeah, you are. But his nose is not, do you feel like his nose is facing the wall? No, it's not. Put his nose in line with his inside shoulder. But his nose in line with the shoulder, more, that's better. Now you got it. Now change the bend the other way. Now change the bend the other way. Oh, he's getting deeper and deeper, isn't he? Now change the bend the other way. Okay, and walk. Very good, that's okay. That was good that you worked that out in the end. Did you feel that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So then, this is what your problem is, because I can see it from this side. When you steer, just stop him. When you steer, and if you hold the video like this so the kids can see, hi kids at home. When you steer a little bit, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing, you should see the angle that Ash is on. When you ask for him to bend, in the beginning, you thought he was bent, but he actually wasn't. You felt the difference when you did it properly? Yeah. Good. But your, in, your rein to bend him in comes off the neck. Okay. Okay? What you gotta think about is this hand, you can see that okay? Yeah. This hand, is keeping this shoulder from falling in that direction. And, but at the same time, you want the neck to turn in, okay? If you open it, it's gonna block him, okay? So a little bit, as you do it, you, you go, if you wanted to turn this way, you go like that, okay? Yeah? What I want you to do is think that. Okay. Does that make a bit of sense? Yeah. So you think that you're creating a banana shape, but your hands, every time you turn him, it gets closer to the neck, not further away from the neck. Yep. And that's how you get the bend without losing the rest of the body. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. So again, go straight to trot and just think about your flap and rise. So I'll do it now, flap and rise. Flap and rise. Yeah, try to get your flap in line with your eyes, but that was better, good job. Uh, change the rain, honey, just on a big circle. 
That's it. Keep the evenness. Don't let him go too deep. Up in the, you're losing the shoulder a bit there. Good girl. Now really think about this. The rein closest to the wall is going to be closest to his neck. Very good. Very good. Now the opposite. Very good. Now the opposite. Very good. That was better. What do you feel the difference? Yeah. Now you feel, like, have a little walk. Now you feel the further, you, oh Georgie. Now you feel the further you got along, the deeper he got and the slower he got. Yeah. Did you feel that? So what that is, is that when you're using your rein, you're using it in a backward way. Okay. So what I want you to do now is do exactly the same thing again, but do it a little bit step by step. Yeah, and less, I'll show the people as well, less like this. Yeah, it's a little bit more like this. This way, dun, 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 dun. this way. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, yeah, so it's a little bit step by step. That will help you find evenness, yeah? Also remember, when you have him bent one way, both reins need to feel the same. So I think a little bit sometimes when you've got him looking at the wall, your left rein probably feels less, less tight, yeah? So it doesn't mean you necessarily give the right rein, but you take the left rein to match it. So remember, it's a pulley system. Make a bit of sense? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? That's perfect, yeah? yeah? So how do you not put on the handbrake? You know that lift that we do, the short reins with the lift of the nose? Break your movements up into like little bite-sized sections versus big long pulls. So if you're, say, asking him to bend to the right, go, don't go bend to the right. Go bend to the right, bend to the right, bend to the right, bend to the right, and as you do it, you kind of go, Lift, release, lift, release, lift, release, lift, release, yeah? But they're so minute, there's still always contact. Okay. That make a bit of sense? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. All right, good. So now when, now you almost got your aid good for the trot. When you want the trot, you need to flap as you go up. Okay? okay? When you're ready, baby. And don't over-prepare. Up, up. Yeah, you flap after you right. There, you got it. You felt that? Yeah. Good job. Check that you've got the go button, use the candra if you don't. Beautiful. Don't forget to change your rein so you do the same thing. It's a bit tight now, so just do like a figure of eight or something. Good job, a little bit more go. Kick, once, yep, you got it. Oh, let go, that's okay. <laughs> just remember, if you kick to a closed hand, he won't like it. Rising trot. Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Good girl, and go. Oh, that's a nice trot. Good job, you. Very good. How do you feel now? Super. Look at you enjoying the buck now. <laughs> but just remember, if you kick to a closed hand, you'll get that reaction, yeah? Very good. Now let's really think about it, okay? Let's take it step by step. Don't be too hard on yourself. Feel both reins. The more bend, good. Better. Then the other way. Up, 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 up in the nose, and then the other way. Up, 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 up in the nose. Up, 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 much better. Good girl, keep going, do it again on the next center line. Up in the pole a little, good girl. Step by step, up in the pole a little. Good, now the other way, because you're already dropping that pole. Other way, whoop, whoop, don't, don't pull. Yeah, that's okay, go again. So you feel how you lost him, yeah? That's because when you went for the sticky side, you tried to force it. Just try to move your rein to find the opening. Come again on the center line. Doesn't matter if you miss it. Already the shoulder's out, you feel that? So have him look away from the wall. Better, better, how's that feel? Better, better. Ah, oh, but your hand's off the neck, do you feel that? No. There, how's that feel? No, yeah, super, do it again. Forward in the good with the forward, come up the centre line again. This time have him look toward B. Hand on the neck, on the neck, no, wrong way. Head toward B, B's that way. Yes, 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 better, 
Better, better, better. Good. Try again. This time you need to think a little bit with the banana. So you have to sit where the nose is going. So on this side, you're gonna have him look away from the wall. Away from the wall, sit this side. That's, that's better. That's better. Look, your outside runs loopy, you feel that? Okay, good girl. Ah, there you got it, there you got it, good job. Okay, center line again. This time you have him look toward B again. Now I really want you to sit toward B. Nose to B, sit to B, sit to, you got it. Sit to B, sit to B, sit to B, sit to B. Two legs, not just one, sit to B, 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 sit to B more. Sit to B, sit to B, sit to B, sit to B. And have a little rest, that was mega. Do you feel the difference? You sit over this side. Yeah? You felt that? That was good. That was really good. What do you think of that? <laughs> she just said the F word, guys, if you didn't hear that. She said she's effed. <laughs> As in tired, not grumpy. But did you feel the difference? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was mega. A hundred percent, yeah. As soon as you change your weight, your A, he goes where you, where you want him to go because you're not against him. Do you understand? Yeah. The goal of the trot goes a little bit because you're a little bit skew if, but you'll find that. That was way better, lovely. And so there were things you could think of as like flipping up and up and moving. Yep. I tell you what I'll do, honey. I'll put the mic on you for a second. You can sort of talk to everybody a little bit. Um, when I was flicking his nose up and out, it was easier to keep him moving forward in the movement um, and easier to keep the handbrake off. Every time I felt like putting the handbrake on, I'd flick up and out. Yes, because the front is going to work like it's retaining the energy, but at the same time, you can't walk the energy and stop it. So that's why when you get the canter, because he's so good at canter and he wants to go, if you go yeah. and say, Steve, go for me, and your hand is a brick wall, he'll be like, woo! <laughs> so the energy's got to go somewhere. Yeah. And that's why he's not going there. Okay. Sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah? Yeah. How afraid were you when he did his box? Um, they're quite smooth because he is so big. They're quite smooth and quite rolly, so not too afraid. That's good. That's good. I bet the first one was easy. First one was a little bit of a shock, but at the same time, I knew what I'd done. I was like, oh, I, I deserved it. I love it. Okay, so what we're going to do now, she's properly buggered, but <laughs> it's good for her. We're going to do the same exercise, hun, but we're going to do it in canter because the canter helps you because it's easier for him, okay? And what I want you to do is try to just listen. And I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. This is an exercise to try to get you to get out of yourself a little bit, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and if I tell you what we're going to do, you'll overthink it. So I want you just to ride good. Okay, and the ride good, that was very poor coaching on my behalf. On the ride, get, just ride like an Olympian, please. <laughs> so the ride good means train tracks. Do I have my train tracks? Don't grip with your knees. That's your only job. Yeah? Oh, three jobs, sorry, actually. Ride your train tracks, don't grip with your knees, up and open in the front. Yeah? And no matter what happens, you just do those three things, I'll tell you everything else. How does that sound? You got that? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, which side's easier for you? The left side. This side? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it at this side then. Okay, so when you're ready to pick him up, have a go at walk to canter if you'd like. Again, really remember you don't need pressure, okay? So just as you walk up the long side, you just put him a little bit in shoulder in, but don't let the neck come in. That's really important, okay? So even in your reins, too much neck in already. That's it. Yeah, a little bit more shoulder in, so move it from your outside rein a bit more. That's it. And now just put your outside leg back and pelvic thrust. There you go, that's okay. <laughs> did that surprise you, did it? That's good, all right. Now just play a little bit with the tempo. So we'll just go forward and back a little bit. 
So think up and down the long sides, go forward a bit just by being looser in your hips. Little bit too much to the inside with his neck. Put his head more to the wall. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Let him go, be free. That's it, and then collect him, but put your hands forward and your body still. There, you feel that? Good, and then, oh, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Again, just like the walk breaks, yeah? If you feel like he's going to trot and you go, oh, he's gonna trot, I'll trot, he will. If you just keep cantering with his seat, he'll keep going, okay? It's okay, be careful, good girl. A little bit too much inside bend again. You feel he's crooked there? Good, give your rein. Now go for a big canter by pushing your hips bigger. Loads of thrusting. Think Friday nights. <laughs> like just got a dirtiest look ever, guys. Thru yep, big thrusts. Now, hands forward, tight in your hips. Hands forward. Yes, do you feel that? Hands forward. That's better than big thrusts. And don't think too much about your hands. Little bit of a leg flap if you have to. A bit more on the bits and move the bridle over the tongue. Good girl. That's it, super riding. Now little thrusts and give the rein. Come up the three quarter line. Good girl. And ride a half pass to behind me. So line it up that you land behind me. Hands to the wall a little bit more. Now ride a circle, but keep the same shape. Ride a circle around me, but keep the same shape. Ride a circle around me, but keep the same shape. You're all right, good girl. Keep both sides of his mouth, not just one. Ride a circle around me, but keep the same shape. Good girl, now make the circle smaller with the shoulders, not the bottom. Just make the circle line smaller for your feeling. Well, don't let him fall in. You're gonna keep going around me. <laughs> Go again, canter. Good girl, forward again first on the wall. I'm properly brave, aren't I? Yeah? Stupid or brave, I don't know. Three quarter line again. Make a half pass that goes behind me. Both hands to the right wall. Hands the other way with your hands. That's it. Now turn that into a circle around me, but keep the shape the same. So think half pass on a circle, don't grip. Half, open the front, play. Half pass on a circle around me, off the wall. Good girl. Around me, look where you're going. Look at his bottom. That's it, look at his bottom. Good girl, let the front go. Little tap with two legs. Good girl, that's it, look at his bottom. Look at his bottom, keep tapping. The two legs, that's it. Good girl, good girl, keep going, that's okay. Canter again. Think about your hands being even. Good girl, think about a half pass on a circle around me. And give the rein, play and give. Look at his bottom, play and give. Good girl, bring this closer to around me. Play and give. Play and give. Play and give. Yeah, yeah, again. Bring it again, come to me, shoulder over. Make the circle really close to me. So I can touch you. 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 Keep riding, keep riding, canna, keep riding the canna, keep riding the canna, keep riding the canna. So I can touch you. Come on, you got it. Good girl, so I can touch you. So I can touch you. Keep riding the canna. Keep riding the canvas, I can touch you. Yeah, yeah, good girl. Do you know what you just did? No. Okay, go again. Canter. Good girl. Hop, with outside leg, outside leg. It's okay, go back to walk. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. Canter, good girl. Okay, good. Now, I want you to just go around again to the wall. Ride a half pass. Good girl. And just listen to me. Two legs, little bit let go of the front. You've got too much front. That's it. Go for a bit forward now up the wall. Go. Ah, it's better. He just lost it a little. Okay, guys, we're on my phone for this last bit. The bloody camera broke down just in the wrong moment. All right, Kendra, on, sweetie. A little bit forward. Good job. Shorten your reins. They're very crooked. Yeah, that's it. And think a little bit forward for this moment. Go. So straight line, sweetie. Straight line, not the, not the work. Now what I should do is pirouette. Go forward. Go forward. Give him a little kick. Go into two point to find your go again. Go. Go. Yeah, just stay a whole round like that. Go. Whole round, just do a square up here. In the two point, find your go button. Yeah, you see how when you start to get collected, you can get a little stuck? Yeah. Good. Now, when you collect, try to keep this feeling of openness. Yeah, so go again. See, it's already stuck? Go. Good. Now, in the corner, set up for your, for your half pass for the three quarter line. But try to keep this feeling of openness. Flat with your leg, half pass. Now turn a circle in front of me. You got it, come on, two legs, two 
two legs, turn a circle in front of me. Keep going. One more, turn a circle in front of me. Turn a circle in front of me. Turn a circle in front of me. Good, good, now keep your half fast going, go. Keep your half fast going. Keep going, keep going. Sit to the wall, 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 it's okay. Give him a big pat, you're bugger, both of you. Woo! <laughs> mega, sweetheart, that's mega. Now she doesn't think she can do it to the right, but she will. Ready? Canter one more time. Come on, baby. Just go straight into an extender, uh, like a, a two point canter. You got it. With Ash, it's all about getting through that brain. Go, Ashy. Outside leg once. Pop. Good job. Big forwardness. That's super, sweetie. Keep going. A little bit more forward. Go. And down the long side again, because we'll do it from the other end. I just want you to think a little bit too. No, no, down the long side. So just let your back to the wall. You're okay. Forward, forward to your stuck. Go, go. That's it. Go into two point position. Super, honey. Then on the three quarter line after A, half pass. Stay in two point even a little bit for your feeling. Good girl. Now pretend I'm in front of you and turn. Don't worry, these shoulders fall. That's okay. Keep turning. Turn more. Turn more. Turn, 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 keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, and half pass again. Woo! Keep half passing all the way to the wall, two legs. Don't worry that his quarter's leading, we'll fix that later. Give a big pat. Bravo, baby, bravo. Woo! <laughs> that was amazing. How do you feel? Yeah, are you glad I made you to do it now? <laughs> Wait, I gotta get a close up of the smile, guys. I can't believe we had to finish this on my phone. Look. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so we ran out of battery. So I'm now in the office plugged in. <laughs> you can see, you can see Ash back there. Give us a wave, Ashy. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. But anyway, what we were really doing today is letting Ash just find her way a little bit, find evenness, find, now that we sort of solved how to flap like a duck and how not to grip with her legs, how to then roll that into movements. And also we worked a little bit on the psychology of it as well, because it's hard sometimes to, if you kind of know what you're doing, to then just follow too. So it's pretty amazing that she got the pirouette in the end, which is ultimately just a half pass turning a small circle. So it's pretty awesome. I am so, so, so proud of Ashy. She she is the most amazing creature in the entire world and it just warms my heart. So this is pretty epic for anyone to be able to ride this sort of thing. And also G is just the most beautiful, sweet horse in the entire world. He's just amazing. So thanks so much, Ashy, for letting everybody see this. And um, thanks so guys much, so sorry, thank you so much guys for also wanting to see it. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, the more you subscribe, my dream is to like give horses like this to Ashy and say, here you go, Ash take him forever that is my actual long-term goal um, and the more we get subscriptions the more we can make that happen thanks so much for watching guys Mwah! bye